Now, the first question that I want to ask myself when I'm looking at a question like this is what are the answer choices that I can eliminate the most quickly? So when I look at this, I'm seeing the one minus x and the one minus x squared. Now I notice that with both of those, I'll be able to actually just plug in one minus x. And the first term after the minus sign is going to be a one. So what that means is effectively that I can immediately eliminate a and b and simply just not worry about them. Now, the other one that I can ignore for the most part is e. There's a division here, and there's no indication anywhere that I'm going to see a division in this problem. So for the moment, at least, I'm just going to forget about that. Now I'm going to go to c and d. And so let's take c, for example. What we're going to do is simply plug in 1 minus x everywhere that we have an x here. Now when I do that, I want to make sure that I'm bracketing the terms, OK? So I bracket the term. So I bracket the term to indicate specifically what I've substituted. Okay? So everywhere that there's an x, I'm going to replace that with bracket 1 minus x, which I'll call quantity 1 minus x. If I expand the brackets here, I'm going to have 1 minus 2x plus x squared on the left, and then minus quantity 1 minus, now this bracket, now if I expand this bracket, I'm going to end up with 1 plus x quantity squared. I want to expand the brackets from the inside out, so I'm going to start here. This is 1 minus 1 minus x, which actually is going to translate to x left in the brackets and squared, okay? I'm going to expand the brackets and get 1 minus 2x plus x squared, okay? So the x squareds cancel, leaving me with 1 minus 2x. Now is that the same as what's given in c for f of x? And they're not equal. Now all we have left to do is simply to check d to make sure that this is in fact the correct answer. Now if I take d and plug in 1 minus x, get quantity 1 minus x squared, and then 1 minus 1 minus x, all squared. Now we're going to do the same thing and start from the inside of the brackets. Now this together is going to simplify to just plus x squared. And then this I'll just bring down looking exactly the same, which gives me 1 minus x quantity squared times x squared. Exact same thing as you have in D, except in reverse. But since it's multiplication, it's commutative, and it can be in reverse. So D is, in fact, the answer. Now, to continue on, we know that the answer is D. But let's just practice with functions for a little while. Now, what would the function be if we said A equals F of 1 minus X? Well, that's going to be 1 minus, now don't forget your brackets here, 1 minus 1 minus X, or plus X. So B is 1 minus quantity 1 minus x quantity squared expanding so that's 1 minus 2x plus x squared all right so what we're doing here is basically just changing all the signs and eliminating the 1 so that's going to be 2x minus x squared okay now finally if we look at e we're going to find equals quantity 1 minus x over 1 minus quantity 1 minus x, like this. Now 1 minus x stays the same, and we can simplify the bottom to plus x. So we end up with 1 minus x over x.